Welcome back, Achievers. This is your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of the 19th. I am one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across from me, as always, Alex. How do you do? I do well. I do well. Yeah, you I do think well. I do well. I feel good. Yeah. I, I didn't get much rest last night. Oh, but I did. I took a nap before. Oh, that's good. So I feel like I even it out even there. It out? Yeah. I feel like I even it out. I have been just hammering mm-hmm. one specific game we'll get to in just a second if you want to check us out we go live every friday at all of your podcast services of your choice if we're not on one tell us uh go to youtube every friday as well give us the clicks give it the watch time if you like us even more than that please head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers and give us a buck for the exclusive five bucks to get everything early it's quite the bargain i'd say keeps mm-hmm. us alive keeps the mics on the lights on and Alex's dog's fed. If you want them to starve to death, then please, by all means, don't give them anything. I love my babies, so please <laughs> help me out with that. If you are a free roller, don't worry. We are too. Please head over to all the YouTubes, the iTunes, the Google Plays, the Spotify's. Give us the five stars. The reviews. If you're not going to give us five star reviews, kindly fuck off. <laughs> 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 you know we love you guys. Go to our socials if you want to scream at us. Twitter at EVM8000 at Crazy Flip Skater from Mr. Alex. Let's get into the week. We have a shorter week, but I believe one story specifically, maybe two, will take us a good bit. But before we get into that, I have one question, Alex. Mm. What have you been playing? We have been playing hmm. Kingdom Hearts on Xbox. Finally, couldn't even let me I couldn't say. Let it, couldn't couldn't let it happen. No, see, finally. And I was gonna, you happened. know, I was gonna, I was gonna let like drag it out a little bit because I was gonna be like, you know, we've been playing some Division before. You know, this whole expansion comes mm-hmm. out. I've been getting back into Division. We're getting back into you? it. We were playing Apex so like a week before, but now we're playing our favorite game on our favorite console, Kingdom Hearts. The Kingdom Hearts. And it plays great. Oh, yes. It feels great. Now, I have a question for you. What? Is it 60 frames? Because it's at some parts, I don't think it is, but there'll be like some part, at some parts, like like at the very, very beginning, I'm like just moving the camera. I'm like, Mm -hmm. this feels like 60. It feels good. But then it's not. I don't think it's So I'm like, I think it's, I think it's just really close. I think it's, I think it's. <clears throat> it's very. I think it's, it's rendered perfect. very well. I think it's perfect for what's going on. Yeah, because I don't think there's much. Yeah, because I haven't any. I haven't had any issues. These are PS2 games, so I'm sure that yeah. One X is <clears throat> can can read a book while it's playing this game. So oh, I mean, I'm, sure. I'm sure it can relax. So, so I'm, I'm I haven't had any issues. It feels great. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I forget how um, ancient some of the game is now. Cause, oh, of cause course. I'm over here trying to control the camera, and I'm like taking an hour to turn. I'm like, oh god, I forgot about this. But it's fun. Oh, no, yeah, for it's sure. Fun. I'm having I'm, a good time. I am halfway, roughly, through the game. Yeah. Alex, where are you at? So I'm about there? five hours in, or about to be five, five hours, hours in. in. I just finished Tarzan. Tarzan. So, and I'm going to go, I'm going back to Coliseum to feat, de- defeat Cerberus. So, mm-hmm. I'm about to be done with that first circle world, uh, that cir- circle of worlds. Where did I leave off? So I finished <clears throat> Agrabah. That's where I, I okay. finished Agrabah. So I can either so go to like Monstro or Nightmare Before Christmas. I believe it's Monstro. Okay. Monstro's the next one if you don't want to like get beat up and go to Nightmare. I think so. you have the choice. Yeah. But I don't want to, you know, get destroyed. Mm-hmm. And I'm playing it hard, <clears throat> and it is hard. Um, I've died a few times. Nothing too bad. I don't think the game gets really hard hard until mm-hmm. Hollow Bastion. That's probably when I'm going to start getting you know, no, it's crazy sand kicked out of me. The, these games just came out yesterday. They did. Now, when you shadow say... Shadow dropped. Yeah, yeah. Shadow dropped. dropped. If someone's listening to this podcast saying, oh, did they come out? Yes. Yeah. And uh, they <laughs> did not say anything until the day of. The day of, yeah. And I assume it's some deal they had previously. Something was going on. And this was probably the literal earliest they could, like, release oh, yeah, for the sure. game just, on They're like, at the day of, just drop it. There's no reason they would do this other, <clears> other than that, right? They wouldn't... We had, we had not even... Nary a tweet... Until the game actually came yeah. out the day of, and then we got like the tweets from everybody. Yeah, it's just. But um, I was saying since it came out yesterday, do you feel like you're going through the game too fast since it's only been a day and you're already halfway? Since you're half, you're about halfway. No, I've no because just because we said so late. Yeah, okay. I, That's I, how I, I was I, feeling because I feel like I'm only five hours in, but I've already done like three worlds, mm-hmm. 
and I didn't and I didn't feel like I was rushing, but I'm like I'm doing this a lot faster than I normally do, and I think it's just because we already know what to do, so we, we just, just know skip what to everything. Do. We don't need to watch the scenes. I've yeah. skipped the, most of the cut <clears throat> scenes because I've I've again, just seen them so many I've times. I've played them so many times, so I'm just playing it for the game. For the game itself, and then yeah. of course. DK. It's fast now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to retrack everything. Get oh, the of Trinities, course. Get the treasures. Save my puppies. Yeah. Can't yeah. leave the puppies. Out. No, no, no. Can't leave you gotta out. get all ninety nine. I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, it's funny with the puppies because it's like, are they in the chests or is like the chest like the lock that they're in? Because it's scary. Because it's like, where? How are they breathing in this? I, I would think. And there's three puppies in a single chest. Oh that's yeah. Pretty. Yeah. It's not a lot of room in a chest. No, no, no. Especially those chests. They're really small. They're like some of them. Nah, some of them some are of bigger, them. Yeah. little, but. I think I'm sure they have like some cracked. holes or some stuff. They have yeah. like a little dog bowl, and they got some toys in there. And it's funny that who did this? Who took the puppies? And That's just put, you know they, I've they never wa- talk about it. I've always wondered that. It's like who took the puppies and scattered them and like put them in chests. I, I feel like I could see like a a, a little a dog burglar. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> just just moving his hands back and forth. Yeah. Ready to steal the pups and be like, yep. "All right, I'm gonna make this elaborate. If you want them mm-hmm. back, dog." It's the two. <laughs> it's the two main guy, the the tall, skinny guy, and the short, fat dude from the movies. The movies. They yeah. always try to take the Dalmatian. Mm-hmm. He's like, "I finally Krill got him." She's long been dead. Oh yeah, yeah. They were. They, she was fed to the dogs long before this. Um. So it's yep. just the goons left, and they're just trying the to get revenge yep. for Corilla, but it's not working. Yep. They did what she could not. <laughs> you were speaking of Division Two. Um, yeah. I've been playing a lot of that as well. Mm-hmm. I'm having. Uh, it's it's got it's got me again. Yeah, I'm I need, so much. Fun. Well, I wanted to play last night because I wanted to finish and then do that uh, exotic gun, the uh, chameleon. chameleon. Yeah. yeah, but I went to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I, tired boy. I understand. Like I said, yeah. I took a nap. That's what I said. Like I feel a rested nap, now. and I feel great. Yeah, see, I feel great. I'm ready to take on the world. Yeah, no. See, I went to bed around nine thirty. Woke up around eleven. Still horribly tired. Now I was like, "Yo, I'm going to bed." Yeah, didn't like, wake this up till, didn't work out didn't, at all. Wake up till nine, so it's about twelve hours of sleep. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I enjoyed good. myself with some Apex as well. Yeah, uh, playing that ranked, <laughs> trying to get as high as I possibly can. I'm on okay. Civil War Four. Silver. Silver okay, four, I'm still on, I'm still on Bronze Five, Bronze Four, Bronze Five. It, like it that. goes four. Four. So okay, so I'm on the last one. Four. I remember they've seen the V, so mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's yeah. four. We'll play some more together to get you higher up, Alex. We'll talk about more Kingdom Hearts later, but first. Sony is struggling with PlayStation 5's price due to costly parts. Oh, no. This is over on Bloomberg by Takashi Mochizu. No, Mochizuki. 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 There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. There. Right. Scarce components have pushed the market manufacturing mm. costs for Sony Corp's next PlayStation to around $450 per unit, <coughs> forcing a difficult price setting decision in its battle with Microsoft Corp. According to people with knowledge of the matter, the Japanese conglomerate is preparing to gradually replace the six year old PS4 console releasing its PlayStation 5 the same holiday season. Its ar- uh, arch rival debuts the upcoming Xbox Series X. I love that they use the words arch rival. Like they're yeah. like they're yeah. fighting in the I mean wars. they have been through the bet they've been battling been forever, through man. Sony typically <laughs> finances a console's price in February of the release year, followed by a mass production in the spring. With the PS5, the company is taking a wait and see approach, said the people asking not to be named because the details are private. The PS4 released in 2013 at a retail price of 399 was estimated by IHS Market to uh, cost 381 to manufacture with a 450 unit cost and a similar gross margin. The PlayStation 5 retail price would have to be at least $470. That would be hard sell to consumers considering Sony's most expensive machine now is the 399 PS4 Pro and is often discounted according to the marquee capital analyst Damien Thong interesting last name there hmm. uh quote cus- uh, consumers will benchmark their <laughs> expectations based on the ps4 pro and ps4 uh, thong said if sony prices above that it will likely be to balance anew to offset higher material cost against risk to demand most of the components for the console have been locked down the people said including the cooling system which is unusually expensive at a few dollars per unit typically companies would spend less than a dollar but sony opted to lavish more on making sure heat uh dissipation there we go from the powerful chips housed inside the console isn't an issue the ongoing coronavirus outbreak has had no impact so far on preparations for ps5 production they said the company has yet to decide how many PlayStation 5 units it will make in the first year they added 
Separately, Sony plans to release a new version of the PlayStation VR virtual reality headset tentatively scheduled after the PlayStation 5 goes on sale, the people said. Sony executives are forcing patience about the next console's pricing as they anticipate the transition to be a gradual one, said people familiar with its day-to-day operations. Many of the games launched for the PlayStation 5 will also be available to play on the predecessor machine, so revenue from software and related network services is to expect to keep business performance intact. Microsoft and Sony are both expanding their respective online subscriptions revenue from which may allow them greater flexibility on hardware pricing. People within the PlayStation business unit said a key factor in deciding the ultimate PlayStation 5 retail price will be where Microsoft sets its price for the next generation Xbox Series X. Microsoft is widely expected to be hold that information back until the E3 Gaming Expo in Los Angeles in June. Quite a mouthful there. I think but it's, I think it's going to be 500 I think I'm that is worried. safe to say. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they'll eat fifty dollars on everything before we even get into marketing, mm-hmm. before we get into <clears> like <throat> shipping and all this. If so, the system takes four fifty to make before doing anything else, yeah. mar- you know, not marketing per se. That's no, like no, technically said, a yeah. different budget, but like you know, shipping it out to people, yeah. you know, all this, all these added things, the the cardboard you gotta buy for the boxes i think that's why i think that's why they're waiting because i feel like it's 450 before everything they're like oof i feel like they they would have to they would have to go above five but i don't think they want to so i feel like that's why they're waiting to see what xbox would go because they have similar uh specs so they'd be like oh if if you know if they can afford it at five we should be fine Mm mm-hmm uh, so again, Daniel Mod, fantastic Twitter mm-hmm. follow. He's an, an analyst. Uh, let's give his word, and then we can fully dive into all this. Okay. I'd say this would be fairly accurate. This is him stating on the uh, article based on what I've heard, but still, of course, uh, unconfirmed. I previously estimated the build cost of Series X would be higher at over four sixty minimum and still expect that to be the case no build cost is not retail price as the article states a 450 build cost would probably result in a retail price close to 500 dollars i think at this point it's unrealistic we'll get a high-end console at 399 like last gen the ps4 has sold at a loss on day one its total build was 381 and the additional costs involved such as retail margin etc pushed the total cost over 399 took a few months for them to make a profit on that one and then here are the basic Series X build cost, likely higher than PS5 as of now, but not significantly so. Pricing will likely be similar to or higher than build cost for both devices. However, both manufacturers could be willing to take a loss day one and to price more competitively. More than last gen, given both Sony and Microsoft have been able to offset the traditional uh, cy- cycle. Yeah, cycle, cycle. Nature of consoles profit losses by guaranteeing a constant stream of revenue via subscriptions and add-on content so they can experiment with pricing somewhat. Also, I want to clarify one point from the original tweet. I'm not saying that the Xbox Series X build cost is 460. I estimate that the build cost would be 460 minimum to 520 maximum based on the current component costs. To simplify it, higher than PS5 build cost somewhat. Final point, let's not forget the wild card for Microsoft here. They have multiple entry points, high-end next-gen console, Series X, low, mid, and next-gen console. Buy, build your own low, mid, high-end PC versus just a high-end console on PlayStation 5s. Hmm. Interesting points all around. 520. That's the high-end. Right. So I think Xbox coming out $500. Hmm. Because I don't think they want to go higher because they know PlayStation no, 5 sure. is going 500 Now, if PlayStation goes $400, whew, that's a lot they're eating, but that will show that they're like, bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on if they go 400 But see, now. Because $100 difference for two companies selling a system is a lot of money for and people. And it's crazy because I don't think they would do 400 which is the same price either. as the Pro. Yeah, I don't think they would either. Yeah. So if they did do 400 they would announce the PS4 Pro goes to 250 or whatever. Which is yeah. nuts. Or 300 Like, just to get them out. Yeah, just to, yeah. Because like, they're going to stop manufacturing after a while. Yeah. Because they're going to they're, cause they're gonna want people to buy the PS5. Yeah. Because the Slim would be, let's say, 150 The Pro well, I don't know if it's that th- low. I would say the 200 I think 200 because that's like high sale price. Mm-hmm. I think they go 200 It's like, it's 200, 200 bucks. The other one Now until they're gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the other one just uh, three to three hundred and fifty, and I think the five would be between four hundred and fifty and five. 
Yeah, I think minimum four fifty five. I don't think they're looking at being like we're gonna price it at four hundred bucks and no. just consume. The, that's a lot of loss. No, yeah. Of course they will make that up, mm-hmm. but that's a lot of money, especially when they're used to making the money they have been for the last. It's gonna be hard to investors to swallow that. Yeah, we're gonna have to eat this because Xbox is mm-hmm. uh, five hundred. I'm curious if they because we we all know they're waiting to see how much Xbox costs. Yeah, which I don't. That's a whole other conversation I want to have in yeah. a second. But it, for instance, if they do, and they see that Xbox is five hundred, do you think they just go five hundred as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They would only go four hundred if Series is four hundred, which is not, which is it, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But that would be, be crazy. That would be the. Cor- <laughs> That'd be hey yes. hey. Remember Phil Spencer was like, we don't care how I mean how much it's going to cost. I just we would just want it to be you know strong. Strong. Yeah, we want, so we're it, not going to be out of. Uh, I is what he I'm said. not gonna lie. I won't be surprised if they'll be like four to four is four to four fifty just just to get more people's attention. <sighs> just because how well Game Pass and all the other stuff are doing, they'd be like, you know what, four fifty. I think, go for it. I think for sure on this new system, mm-hmm. we're getting Series X. Yeah, with a, a, a maybe three months to a year of Game Pass. Get uh-huh. you started. Get that mouth watering. Look at uh-huh. all these games coming out. Hey, get on Game Pass, ten bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Just get people excited. Get them buying the system, mm-hmm. and then you got them. Once they yep. buy that system, once you once you experience Game Pass, it's like it's like crystal oh, it's like meth. Out. Have, yeah, you have. I, to. I should be the marketing for Game Pass. It's like crystal meth. Yeah, you just try crystal meth once. <laughs> you're now the guy that does crystal meth. You know what I mean? I mean, you're not gonna stop. Yeah, you're just not. No, are you gonna stop? No. Exactly. No. <laughs> I mean, like, look at it. We just recently saw Game Pass adding a cu- a bunch of new games. Or they're going to add. Yes, we will get to that later. There's mm-hmm. lots of good games. Yeah. Lots of, lots good, of good games. games. Speaking of which, Alex. Mm. Speaking of Game Pass. Segway. As I scroll, <laughs> <laughs> Xbox Game Pass becomes even more irresistible. This is by me. Xbox Game Pass is becoming even more tantalizing with the addition of this podcast's favorite game of last year, Kingdom Hearts 3. Yes, And it, it doesn't stop there. The games coming to Game Pass are as followed. This is on console Game Pass specific, Ninja Gaiden 2, Yakuza 0, Wasteland Remastered, Two Point Hospital, Jackbox Party Packs 3, and of course, Kingdom Hearts 3. Also to know the PS4 version, uh, sorry, the PC version of Game Pass is getting Yakuza 0, Wasteland Remasters, Game of Thrones, Reigns, and Indivisible. It's crazy. Kingdom the, Hearts 3 and Ninja Gaiden 2 stand out to me the most. The value. Yeah. Just keeps getting crazier. Yeah. Keeps getting crazier. Like, speaking of Game Pass being such irresistible, look at this. Kingdom Hearts 3, year old game. Mm-hmm. You get it for the cost of $10 a month. Yep. Wild. And of I'm course, if you get Ultimate, it's more expensive, but. Whatever. No, do you think they did that because the packs came out? Or they knew that they were going to come out? Uh, probably. They probably were talking. Hey, so like, when, yeah. when can you release. Uh, so now you can play the whole, everything on Xbox. When can you release. Because for sure. Yeah. All of Kingdom Hearts is going to go to Game Pass eventually. Yeah. I say eventually. I don't think it's anytime soon, but I think mm-hmm. eventually the rem- remaster packs, mm-hmm. once they've made all their money off these like uh, you know full re-releases, mm-hmm. they're going to Game Pass. It's, oh, yeah. It's for sure. How long do you think you would give it? I'm going to say a year. I think a little less than a year. I think yeah? six to nine months, yeah. I think, is when they're, okay. they go. Because they want that money. Yeah. Right? And I think six to nine months... People buy who have it. They buy already. Begun, they buy yeah. It. yeah. Go to Game Pass. Yeah. Now, we did not discuss this at the opening of the show. What? What's up with these prices for the for the system? We're going Man. back to the systems. We'll discuss. No, this. no, we, yeah, I just sure. want to bitch for a second. Yeah, no. That's Why fine. fifty bucks? I'm down to pay for eight HD remaster. Take my money. I love you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming to Xbox. Yeah, fifty bucks. Oh, for, oh, for sure. I don't give a fuck. For sure. Two point eight. Two point eight, which is half of the content you get. Sixty dollars. What? Uh, why? What? Yeah, and it's crazy. Because Not even I, great games no, on it. And it's crazy because I thought it was a what, lot cheaper on PlayStation. So I was like, oh, let me check the price it on is. PlayStation. No, it's not. It's the so, or it's at least on the digital store. It's the same exact price. So if you get the all-in-one package uh-huh. for fifty bucks, you yeah. get Kingdom Hearts three and everything. Yeah. So I mean, that's fifty bucks for everything. Yeah. Like, why can't we just get an all-in-one thing or the story so far? Be, uh, and easy answer 
They want money. Yeah. Oh, no. For Easy sure, answer. Sure. So we won't spend too much longer on that. I just wanted to complain about that. No, yeah. Back to the cost of the system because we went on a very long diatribe. Systems. Mm-hmm. Xbox 500. Okay. PS4 500. Mm-hmm. Or PS5, whatever. They're all going to be 500. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. I think so too. I think it's easy. Now, what I want to discuss with you, Alex. Mm-hmm. When are we. G- so, PlayStation wants to wait for a Series X price. Yeah. We know that Xbox is probably going to discuss this at E3. For sure. They're going to talk yeah, about the sure. price probably. Um, show more uh, pre-orders. They're gonna They're, show the system off. Yeah. I, if anything, I think we'll see gameplay from the system. Ooh, oh yeah, we'll see Halo. Yeah. We'll yeah. see Halo. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's yeah, it's supposed to come out on holidays. Guaranteed. We'll yeah. see Halo. We'll see the new UI. Yeah, all those, all those covers. I'm excited. Do they wait until E3 to see pricing? Who plays? And, yeah, because because in order for that to make sense, unless they have insider <laughs> talk and they can get wording from other people that how much it it costs which i'm sure they probably have a rough estimation of how much there's the series x off. i don't know because i feel like that would be too late i do you, there's no possible way we you can go after e3 right and then if you do go after you i think playstation as of right now mm-hmm. i wouldn't be surprised if they go well because all they've showed is the t- the 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 logo the logo yeah and i mean the website went up and they said more information comes in soon which is supposed to be whatever that reveal things people saying february people saying march it's not february i think that's pretty certain yeah, it's a, we're already february ha- yeah we're already halfway through february there's no yeah, we're almost think- there literally nine days for february to be done so which is crazy we have sure from this. yeah i know right we have march let's say july just to just to put it out there mm. when is this happening when is this reveal event happening when do you think it's going down also is xbox having a reveal event and then saying more on e3 yeah, i don't know there's so many possibilities i feel like xbox is in a perfect position to wait to e3 i'm gonna say keep sony sweating mm-hmm. you know what i mean keep sony sweating even though i don't think that's why they're waiting mm-hmm. i think xbox like we stated last week and the week before is just not interested in battling this no yeah no they're not they're like no we're just doing our own thing yes this sony yeah the, the who sells most boxes yeah now sony's still on that ro- uh, on that train trying to like just be the best and xbox is just like we're just having fun man yeah i think they're just gonna go to like hey well, i want you to pay for game pass that's all they care yeah about. and it, not even necessarily how many boxes now mm-hmm. before i t- ask the because qu- i have so many questions to ask mm-hmm. let's stick with playstation when into the event april I said February April? before, but it, it, now it's I'm not, not seeing it. April. April? Yeah. Are you saying that with any history intact, or is you just feel it in I your gut? I feel it. You feel it? Because I feel like March, still a little too soon. April, May. I feel like May May is too late because it's too close to E3. So I think it's like right meet right in the middle, get April. I'm going to say May. May? I think May because they can command. Mm-hmm. A month before Microsoft. Okay. And you get that kind of sensation of, all right, top of that. They're going to come out. They're going to show, all right, this is PS5. This is it mm-hmm. running Horizon. It's it's going to run maybe a new IP game or something we've seen before. Or they'll show a new game off. And then now we go into E3 saying, can Xbox top the PlayStation reveal event? Yeah. And then that's the question. Then you're still being talked about at E3 without mm-hmm. even being there. Yeah. So I think May, mid-May, late May, that's when you do it. Okay. I think that's when they do it. I think that's what they're worried about. I think that's that's what they want to do. Now, this does not align with what we know is that they want to see how much Xbox costs. Yeah. Because I don't think we're getting a review offer from Xbox. I think they're in a perfect no, position to be like, just we're just going to wait. Yeah. We're just going to wait. You're going to get it at A3. You're going to know units. You're going to know pre-orders. You're going to know the price. Yep. You're going to know where to get it. You're going to know how everything works. Yeah, they'll show the whole thing off at uh, E3, like what they did with the X. Yep. I completely agree Or the agree regular Xbox One, whatever it was at the time. So that's 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 where we're going. You're going yeah. with they're just re- April. Yes? yes. Yeah. Okay, going April. Yeah. You got like a... Early mid April, just April is what uh, you feeling. I'll give it a mid 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 April. Okay, okay. I say March. We'll be, we'll bet a pizza on it. No, steak. Mm. All right. We'll bet steak on it. Steak dinner. All right. You win. Mm-hmm. I cook you steak. Mm-hmm. I win. I cook me steak. There we go. We decided. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, 
I've gotten better. All right, I've gotten better <laughs> at cooking. Hey man, a ribeye, good ribeye, sear uh-huh. it. Yeah. You're done. I mean, I did the, the other day. So good. Yeah. Oh, I had a ribeye the other day. Yeah. I'm, I'm salivating. A sirloin. Yeah, sirloin's a good yeah. ribeyes though. P- perfect amount of fat. Mm-hmm. Perfect amount of fat. Now, away from food for a second, <laughs> because yeah, I'm starving. Xbox. Yeah. Do they have a second skew? A cheaper model, a Chromecast model. I've been saying. Well, we haven't seen nothing of you. XCloud yet, other than the beta, the, the demo thing. I think it is too soon. You think so? I think so. I think we'll hear something while they're revealing Series X. I feel like we'll be like, we will sure hear something. I feel like we'll see. I feel like we'll see XCloud at E3. So are you don't saying? Know, I don't know if we'll see like release in what form. Dang. Like, like, are we getting what it is? Like, what yeah, well, like, yeah. will be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what X Cloud will be? Like, is it a Stadia type thing where it's a different market? I, th- I think it's. Is it an add on to your existing Xbox? I think it's a. It'll, it'll be a, a subscription. Another one? I'm hoping they don't because that just adds know. another I mean, subscription I have to worry I mean, about on I, Xbox. I just don't see it being another, another form of. Game Pass uh, yeah. or Ultimate or whatever. I don't see it either. Unless X Cloud could be Lockhart. No, no. I think Lockhart is, which is, if you don't know, a rumored project that has been rumored and has been disproven from people saying that's not working. But I don't really believe them. Mm-hmm. I think there is a Lockhart being made. Okay. Whether it comes out this year, I'm it honestly could be not like sure. Series S. I don't. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be Series S. It's it just it, and the pricing of Series S, if it exists, three? I think is two to three hundred bucks. Yeah. It is a thing that can stream. That's a, that's it. You can mm-hmm. stream it. It's an all digital version. It still has the fidelity of the X of the Series X. Yeah, because you're running off like PS like servers. Or servers, whatever. yeah, yeah. You're off of I don't know in Montana or I, whatever. Yeah. So I think I, a lot of cards real for sure. Mm-hmm. I just don't know if it's coming out this year or not. And mm. I don't. I don't think Microsoft trusts it enough to release two systems in the same year. I don't know. It just. I don't feel like they do it. I think they'll wait. I think they're going to do the Series X. Similar with PlayStation with their VR. Okay. They're for sure making VR too. No, for sure. They're not going to release it this year, even though I think they could if they wanted to. It's not like they're at, they're going anywhere. I know, right? They're not going to E3. They don't have a PSX. Now they're not going to the They're PAX not going to PAX because of the coronavirus. Interesting. They're just not going if anywhere. If that's true. If. We'll see. We'll see. Alex, we'll definitely see. Hopefully, I'm right, so I don't sound like an idiot when someone like goes to rewatch these podcasts. Mm-hmm. Okay? Like mm, he was wrong about everything. I mean, we're just predicting. <laughs> we're having fun out here. Yeah, Alex. Mm. Leaks and glitches point to an imminent battle royale mode for Modern Warfare. This is Essie Doster. I forget out where this is from. Where is this from? Let me check real quick. Okay. Don't want to not cite here on. Your easy cheapest game. Now, yeah. Kotaku. Kotaku. Over on Kotaku. Kotaku. Looks like Call of Duty Modern Warfare has its own battle royale mode in short order. A series of glitches and leaks following the release of this game's quote season two end quote content are pointing to an upcoming mode called Warzone. Given the sex of uh, Black Ops 4 similar blackout mode, battle royale for Modern Warfare doesn't seem too far fetched. Official teasers that seem to be pointing towards an impending launch of a battle royale surfaced on February 11th with the start of Modern Warfare Season 2. The cinematic trailer for Season 2 featured what looks like a ring of gas closing in as soldiers parachute down onto the battlefield. But the hits don't stop there. Modern Warfare's main menu now features a, quote, classified mode that remains locked. Mm-hmm. However, one Reddit user, a red werewolf, claims that they were able to glitch their way into the lobby for the classified section. And I think there were some screenshots. And stuff. Interesting. I think this is all but confirmed. I think this is definitely no, yeah, a thing sure. that will happen. I think it's interesting that they waited so long to release it. Yeah. Because we're, I mean, it's silly to say, we're already pretty close to the next Call of Duty, which is funny yeah. to say. No, no, yeah. But I mean, sure. we are. Yeah. It's it's November, probably, or October. Yeah. With the new systems. So, I mean, we're already In galloping the- close to it. So, yeah. it, this is, what, eight months I mean, before the new didn't Call of Duty? Black Ops 4. It or- launched with it. Well, which game was it? Oh, I'm thinking Battlefield Five. Their yeah, Battlefield ba- their Battle Royale came out what like a year later. 
Yeah, they were definitely grasping at straws with whatever they were doing. Whatever, yeah. Because I've never, I've not heard from that game since then. No, yeah. And I heard that they had issues with uploading it. Mm-hmm. The game it was crashing a lot or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, that, not much there. I think it's happening. Alex, you think it's happening? Yeah, it is. And yeah. I mean, I'm, I'll give it a try. I'll probably give it a try. I haven't turned Call of Duty since we were playing, you know, mul- mul- uh, yeah. multiplayer. I played it the other day because uh, they added Rust. And I, was playing I need to that. get on there just to play Rust again so I can get a dose of nostalgia. Oh, yeah. And, but I'm playing oh, and definitely feels like it. No, oh, yeah. I, I played literally a mission of Division mm-hmm. and was like, yeah, I got to play King Hearts. And I stopped and went back yeah. to play King Hearts. Yeah. Can't, I can't stop. Yeah, can't I, stop, won't stop. Yeah, I'm trying to juggle between the two because you got me back in the Division. So now I want to play that. And me too. And I also want to play King Hearts. Yeah. So I'm like, man. We got to get ready for that new expansion, man. Yeah. March 3rd. Yeah. So we have about two weeks, two ish weeks, two and a half weeks. Yeah. Alex? Mm. Spider Man's PS uh, Spider Man PS4 is Sony's top priority. That is really all this article. I'm not going to go into it. It's the full article is on Inverse. If you guys want to hear about it, essentially it goes in depth on the next Spider Man game. Is their all eyes on the next Spider Man game? They want that out, I believe, as soon as possible, um, which isn't too far fetched because they have the existing assets, mm-hmm. so they can literally they can make this game a lot faster. Mm-hmm. And especially if it's in engine already and they have the engine all prepped. They can just jump into Spider-Man 2. I am for sure has already been greenlit and is being made. So oh, yeah, yeah, for th- sure. I um, think we are going to get it quicker than we anticipate because Spider-Man only came out last last two two years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised that um, they didn't say the same thing about God of War. That yes. God of War is not their top priority. Interesting. And the only reason I think why is because Spider-Man made that ka money. If you look up sales, mm-hmm. Spider Man sold much more. Did it? They got, uh, they got a war? Uh, let me get up Spider Man sales. We're banging, of course, in this uh, podcast. Um, you could call us shells for Microsoft. <laughs> you could do that. But, um, yeah, but, but compared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ignore that. Uh, it's good. Uh, no, it's not that. I. I, I typed in spider-man sales if you guys want to have a good laugh do it too and it's just a bunch of costumes <laughs> and it's like a little boy like i'm about to web you <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. god i forget there's other things um okay so oh this is old type oh. in top sales i guess or npd or whatever that is 2020 but no yeah no i'm just surprised that um because i thought god of war did really really well as well um, oh, I think it did well too, but like, not as much as Spider Man. Mom, mom at a GameStop at Walmart sees Spider Man. Oh, Jimmy loves Spider Man. That's a good point. Yeah. And can you give me Spider Man? Yeah. I don't know why I talk like a new uh, I mean, there for a second. Hey, hey, that's your grandma voice, man. <laughs> or that's your mom voice. <laughs> yep, yep, it is. Yeah, I can't find the sales, so I'm giving okay. up. I'm giving up. I've gave, I've given up, everyone. I've given up. Okay. I've did the typical Google search. Where you, if it's not on the fir- first page, it's over. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. But yeah, if you can find the sales, Alex, that that'd be lovely. You're the official binger of okay. this podcast. That sounds like I said a racial slur, and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> Nintendo is likely to suffer global switch shortages from virus. This is by Takashi Mochizuki. Nintendo Corporation is looking to struggle is likely to struggle to supply sufficient Switch consoles to its US and European markets as soon as April due to a production bottleneck caused by the coronavirus according to people with the knowledge of the company supply chain. I'm I'm still hold, hold it together. A little bit. Hold I'm it still together. A little bit. Limited component supply coming out of Japan is affecting output at a Nintendo assemb- Assembly Partners factory in Vietnam. Which is the gaming giants primarily uses to build consoles for the U.S. said the people. <laughs> Asking not to be named because the details are private. A shortage of components this month would affect Switch units scheduled for arrival in April after existing inventory and current shipments of the console have sold through. The potential slowdown would deal a blow to the Kyoto-based company, which is preparing to release a major new installment in the new hit Animal Crossing game franchise on March 20th. These first-party titles are the lifeblood of the Switch system's popularity, sustaining a sales momentum as it enters its fourth year since launch. Nintendo apologized earlier this month when it announced that Switch hardware and accessory systems to Japan would be constrained by a virus-imposed production shutdown in China. 
Those products are now out of stock across many Japanese retailers, due also in part of aggressive cashback campaigns by local mobile payment providers. That sounds terrifying, by the way. Mm-hmm. They're buying switches, so you play on their phone more, I think. That's terrifying. Quote, we do not see any major impact on the shipment to the U.S. currently, but we will remain vigilant and take steps if necessary, end quote. <laughs> Nintendo spokesperson told Bloomberg News, quote, it's possible the supply would be affected by the virus if it becomes more widespread and prolonged. Switch shipments arriving in the U.S. in February and March won't pose any issue because they've already been dispatched from Asia, said the people familiar with Nintendo's operations, but difficulty may arise with accumulating enough units for the boats departing later this month or next which would be arriving in the U.S. in April. Shipments would not be completely stopped, but would be greatly reduced, according to one person. The U.S. in the company's biggest market, accounting for 43% of its core business, while Europe and Japan account for 27 and 21%, respectively. Sad to see. Yeah. People are going to be out of switches soon. Retailers Crazy. are going to start hurting for a second. I for sure see a shortage because it's. I don't think we're wrapping up this whole coronavirus thing in the next month. So we are for sure going to see a uh, shortage here. Mm-hmm. I believe there's been more stories basically speaking to this even more saying, yeah, we're going to see a storage and we're going to see switches here less and less until they figure something out. I mean, I've already experienced kind of a uh, shortage myself actually i ordered a cutting board off of kickstarter this mm. is a really cool cutting board okay it's made of like bamboo it has a digital scale um it's like three uh 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 cutting boards in one um and like i said it has a built-in digital scale uv light for sterilization reasons and things like that and uh, uh mine's delayed indefinitely don't know when it's gonna come because the factories are shut down they're hoping for like early march late april when production will start back up but i mean that's that's a that's a full-on shortage of a full factory stop making things which is terrifying um i found something okay and it was from the same year um ps4 spider-man had just broke god of war sales record with 3.3 million copies sold in three days versus god of war did 3.1 million in three days so it became like their fastest so so they did two million more in the same amount of time Mm -hmm. so i'm assuming yeah spider-man did more yep and it's probably held up to that. Yeah, probably for sure. even selling more. Yeah, I, I, feel, I, I don't top of my head. I feel like I I heard that they sold ten million units. Okay. At one point, I could be completely making that up. I have no idea. But I, but uh, needless to say, Spider Man sells a lot of money. So that is why they're, they're top. They want to make another three hundred million dollars. So yeah, you know, no shocker. They want to jump back on Spider Man again, especially <laughs> with the new systems. Yeah. Um, I think earliest we see Spider Man is next year. Mm-hmm. I think earliest. I, and, I, and I'm not going to lie. I think we will get a Spider-Man game next year or the beginning of 2022. Bullish, I know. Do you see... Or, excuse me. Do you think we would see any type of teaser whenever they reveal PS5? Mm. See, it's 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 that thing. I, I say no. Okay. Off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. But then I think, what gets people excited for PS5? Yeah. Games. Yeah. What gets them more excited than the games they already love? Yeah. What keeps them from just putting up teaser images? All uh, Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield garbage that they did. Mm-hmm. Where it literally we're telling the masses, this is here. So come back to us. I believe, I could, like I said, I, see that, I could see that happening. And I don't put it past that that would happen. Just putting up literally Spider Man, maybe Miles. Doing some Miles things. Kind of spoil the game there. Sorry. But you yeah, had your time, I guess. God of War with his axe throwing it around. Just something. Give, get, get that mouth watering. Because I don't think people really understand how games are developed. So they don't understand how long it takes sometimes. So mm-hmm. just the slow thing of just showing a picture. Reminding people these games are being made. Yeah. Gets them back. Yeah. Uh, I found something on Marvel.com. And it's an article by uh, Christine Din. Marvel Spider-Man for PS4 has sold over 13 million units worldwide, and that's a, as of go. August 2019. Oof, Jesus. Yeah, and apparently, uh, yeah, as of July 20, excuse me, July 28, Marvel Spider-Man has sold over 13.2 million units globally, and it's um, this has not been the only records the game has broken. Within the first few days of the market, the game became PS4's fastest-selling game. Other milestones include the highest 
sold game exclusively made for PS4 and the distinction of being best-selling superhero game of all time. Whew. Good way. Yeah. They did not, really good. Not surprising, right? No, yeah, yeah, They're sure. top priority now. Yeah. All hands on deck. That's why. Uh, That's, for Spider-Man. Yeah. yeah. 13 so they saw, million They saw minutes. how much the first one did, so like, get the second one out here. Get it out there and throwing money. And like, oh, go, go. Yeah. Um... But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for, of course, Spider-Man 2. Yeah. I think we know roughly where it's going thematically, so I'm oh, excited yeah, for to sure. see that. I'm excited. Uh, I wonder if it's going to release around the same times as these future movies, because mm. Venom 2 or I think the it, next Spider-Man. I think it will, but it won't, it, won't like, it won't matter. It will, but I mean, we'll get some suits. We'll get, we'll get some of that stuff. Yeah. That's about it. Though. Well, I'm saying, like, you know how with... Um, what was it? Wasn't there a certain mm-hmm. game? Or was, game? You got inf- I know Spider Man One got the Infinity War. Oh yeah, so that okay. Well, it. no, I'm saying like it, it came around the same time, so everybody was still on that hype. So it was like, oh, we just saw the movie, or we just played the game. We should get the uh, the uh, whichever one was came first. So I was like that. I was like, I wonder if they'll do that. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they'll, they'll do something. They'll do something. I'm sure. Yeah, Alex. Mm. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. No more DLC planned after second Fighter Pass. Ooh. This is by Alessandro Barbosa. The second season of Fighters coming to Super Smash Bros. will also be the last bit of DLC to release for the game, according to director Sakurai. In Sakurai's re- a regular column for Famatsu, translated by Push Dustin, uh, Dustin, he mentions that the next six characters in development for the Nintendo Switch exclusive fighting game will be the last planned DLC updates for it. As Sakurai has already stated, all of these characters have already been chosen by Nintendo. <laughs> Quick, right. Important to note, by Nintendo. He also said this about the last fighter pack. So if everyone uh, being upset with him about Byleth being in it, he didn't He didn't pick it. He did not pick it. Um, yeah. Sakurai also mentioned that there is currently no plans for another Smash entry, uh, presumably allowing him to work on other projects. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, Sakurai has been working nonstop on the series since Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. With another six characters joining the roster, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will end with a roster of 88 characters after launching with 76. The latest I, edition oh was yet another Fire Emblem character with Byleth having joined the game earlier this year. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate remains the essential entry in the franchise with the largest roster to date. It featured every character from past Super Smash Bros. entries and their associated DLC, while also including new additions at launch. It has since added six more characters. I don't remember there being 76 people at if launch. If you sit there and count it. That is And I believe that nuts. is counting the variants, which are very similar. Oh, okay. For instance, okay. Samus and Dark Samus. Yeah. Very similar. Oh, okay, so that Technically counts. different characters, so I assume that counts. Okay. But I mean, still. It's still, that's still a lot of people. Almost 100 characters now, um, when you include the existing fighter pass that's that is to it. That is nuts. That is nuts. That is nuts. This yeah. is the biggest fighting game probably ever. Yeah. And I'm happy to say that. Um, I'm, I'm excited for more Smash. Um... I, I, I at this point it's funny that it's like who do you get they have everyone yeah. in nintendo like who's next yeah it has to be people we don't really like know about right yeah we have zelda we have link i mean we got all the big people we uh there were the rumors and i'm pretty sure they're i mean they're pretty open rumors so i'm pretty sure it's real um they wanted sora in it couldn't get that's him. not gonna happen disney yeah. said no they don't want sora beating people up yeah what what he beats people up in the game. Do you, you play any of the games? Yeah, right. <laughs> he kills people. Do you know that? <laughs> he murders them. Yeah, I mean, he could use the Keyblade in Smash, but, I mean, it's considered weapons that everybody else yeah, fights. Yeah, they don't want to... They, they don't want him... <laughs> I, I think I think one of the quotes was, we don't want him beating up Pikachu or something. Like, like you know, like docile creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah w- whatever. Like other iconic people. Yeah, whatever. Other than just regular heartless. I, I don't understand. It's money. I, I never understand stuff like that. But hey. Yeah, I mean, God, he fights Riku um, for God's sake. Yeah, he, he kills Anthem. I mean, like, what? Whatever. But, at this point, who do you get? Do you have a dream, Alex? Do you still think, and I don't, I don't know if it would be but do you think Goku would ever be a thing? No, I didn't think so. I don't either. think so. Okay. I think they're so out of the realm of like gaming that it's not. I think really it because like it says it was picked by it. Nintendo. I'm like, who else? Yeah, I could see them working with Disney for Sora, trying to talk him into it. I don't think mm-hmm. it will eventually happen, but I I could see it. I wouldn't be shocked if I see it happen. I I feel like it's, uh, it'll probably be other Capcom people or something. Like Resident Evil people or something. Yeah, that's so lame though. I, I, I feel like they're gonna try and get exciting. 
Because the, how many... The, the, not the scuttlebutt, but people are getting hyped with Master Chief. I don't think that's going to happen. You don't think that'll happen? They're working close with Xbox that, now. I, yeah, and they I got saw Banjo. that. I mean, yeah. I don't think Master Chief will get... Oh, actually, um, Halo's about to come out. I know I mean, one. it would be uh, crazier things have happened. I know one, and I don't know if they did I'd ever add this. What? Cuphead. Uh, so, it's one of those things where I would love that. Uh-huh. He, he, he's a costume in the game. Cuphead? They add, Yeah, they added that uh, with the latest update. Oh, so I they, usually uh, when there's weird. a costume in the game, uh-huh. you don't you generally don't get the character. And there's a costume which for sucks. who? Cuphead. So yeah. you know how there's me fighters? Yeah, you can put a me fighter in the. Oh, Cuphead that's what I'm saying. So it's for the me fighter. It's yeah. a, okay. Oh yeah, sorry. I thought it, I I think you meant it's like a costume there, for like correct. anyone. No, my bad. No, okay, no, no. me so fighter. The me fighter has to change him to okay. be Cuphead. Uh, it's lame. And generally, if you see him in the game, Cuphead, yeah. yeah, if you see him in the game like that, generally they're not going to be in the game. Mm. Generally, so that's the only person I can think. Same of thing that's... with assist trophies. Generally, they're not. I yeah. wanted Shovel Knight in there. That's not. He's an assist trophy. I think. Huh. Yeah, he's an assist trophy. It's not going to happen. Ukulele? No, that's not. God gonna... no. Get the. God, I'm trying to think what of hell's uh, wrong with you. Super Lucky Tail. No, I'm thinking of Xbox stuff. I don't Why know because be there have been a lot of collabs. That'd be lame. Uh, Frank West would be cool. Oh, interesting. Okay. I don't, it's not really an Xbox thing anymore. It's more Dead Rising. You're talking about the Dead Rising yeah. people, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't think that'd be hype for Smash people. No, yeah. I think they'd be like, oh, it's that guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I can't think I of can't anything. think of anything either. Like I said, that good for him. Good for this game to be so many people that were like, who else, who else? would we want? I don't know. <laughs> Is this more Fire Emblem people? I mean... Someone's from Star Wars? Just Bra- to get yeah, weird? They're going to make Bravely Heart people or Bravely Second, whatever. The bravely the, Default? Th- that one. No. Yeah, they're going to put people God. from that? No. No one knows that game. No one's played it. No one's played it. Alex, mm. enough about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. Alex, we're about to close out, so we always rest a little bit, but before we get into... What we're going to play. Yeah. Let me remind you about our sponsors. Yes, we have sponsors. <laughs> and it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Please head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us the buck. That helps us out a lot. Keeps the mics on. Keeps the lights on. Keeps Alex's dog fed. If you don't want them to live, then by all means, don't donate. Uh, head over upset. to all of the YouTubes and all the podcast services. Again, we release every Friday and give us the likes the subscriptions, the view times, the comments, you doing literally anything to mm-hmm. any video or any audio. We see it. That helps. We see it. I will watch it. Um, some people say too much. Uh, I obsess about it. But hey, <laughs> it's really fun to watch you guys talk about it. Yep. Um, scream at us at our socials, Twitter at EVM9000 at uh, Crazy Let's get it for more stuff on that. Thank you guys for listening. We're going to go into Alex. Mm. What are you going to play? What's more, the plan? More Kingdom More of the Hearts. same. More of the so, same Kingdom Hearts. We don't have anything to doom on March 20th. So, no. I mean, we have some time to relax. March 20th. Yeah. Doom. Eternal. Oh, gotcha. I, I, was, I was like, what? Uh, I mean, I just recently got Darksiders Genesis. So we yes, can co-op that. Yes, we can that. co-op on that. Um, but Lots since of you, games. Since you do work today. Mm-hmm. I do. I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts. Yes, until you do. you get off. And yes, then, you do. If you want, we could do some division. Yeah, yeah. some division. Get some, com- get you that chameleon. Get chameleon. I'm feeling it. You got me back into it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, feeling yeah. it like a lot. Yeah, I played um, a heroic difficulty what? one. Oh, okay. Which is one above challenging. Thinking yeah, yeah. I'm about to get wrecked. Yeah, not bad. Really? That's where most of the people and are playing. Get, and don't you was, get more gear from that? Yeah, you're okay. guaranteed a named item, which is like a little better than like a regular, na- like just like a regular kind of like the chameleon is in that a named of, gear it's technically an exotic oh so gold. a named item about, is like something still underneath. gold okay but it's named it's a, something isn't in gold general high end yeah okay gold is high end so generally when it's named it has a specific talent exclusive okay. to that and it's generally an upgraded talent of an mm-hmm. existing gun it's like that one shotgun we got what was it for the pre-order bonus the lullaby yeah lullaby like, but you never get to use it because it's like level one it was useless I'm like, why'd you yeah. give me this yeah and it can't dismount on it so it's like it's always and it looks so cool now. and i it want to use it. i wish i could like upgrade you can it farm something. for it i mean we can try and farm for it you can farm for shotguns and that eh. it's a higher chance of getting it but yeah no. no i have a, such a cool loadout now i'm like oh, no i, I want, want the chameleon anything. and then i there was that one gun that i was using before that you just got the um, I feel like it has it has like a name of an animal or something. Didn't you just get a gun that has like a name? 
And you were like, Badger. Thank you. Uh, that one, yeah. That I one. had that one. That's a new gun, apparently. I didn't know this. It was in the newest update, like when yeah. I had Coney Island. Apparently, mm. it's new. I didn't know that, but I got really? it. It's so good. It feels I could have so swore good. I've had that one. No, yeah, yeah, you haven't. I, I watched a video, and he was like, really? yeah, this is what's in the newest update, and Honey Badger was one of them they listed. Interesting. Might have been in Division 1. I don't maybe, know. Okay, maybe it was in Division 1 that they had that gun, because I could have swore I've had a gun called the Honey Badger, and I, because, I mean, I described it exactly what you thought, what you, oh, like, oh yeah, that's what that is. I'm yeah, like, it, oh, yeah, okay. you did describe it perfectly. It, it might be in Division 1, but he, he did hmm. say it. They added it in the news update. Interesting. Could okay. be wrong. Could be a bold-faced liar. Oh, no. <laughs> if anything, I'm just probably just getting something out of my ass or something. I don't know. Cause getting I, something out of your ass. All right. Yeah, and no, on right? that note... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. Again, everything we I've said before applies now. Head over to all of our videos, like, comment, subscribe, share them with your friends, share them with that one friend that you'll know will like it. Yeah. Um, bring them to the gray side. <laughs> we're you know we're not the dark we're, we're or not light. Dark. We're not light. No. We're, we're in the we're lukewarm in the, area. We're in we don't the, know yeah. where we're gonna go. Am I gonna no. stab you? Am I gonna give you a hug? Am I gonna do both? You, you know, know what? It depends on how the day goes. Mm-hmm. Depends how many likes we get. Depends how many views we get. We can go either way. Either way. It, again. You gotta let us know. No Patreon dollars? That's one more day without dogs That's, being hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, I'm gonna say it at this. The... the, the <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe uh, this is a thing now. <laughs> just, the, more, the more dollars we get on Patreon, the more... Just think about it. The more Paragon I get. Okay, yeah. I think I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, so like every month I don't get a I don't get a Paragon. It's, it's just more renegade. More and more renegade, man. <laughs> renegade. And all you, all you Mass Effect fans, you'll understand. <laughs> That's one more flower he's going to murder. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Thank you guys for listening. Go achieve.